Hey, what's up guys? During productions here, we have an MX350 version of Huawei MateBook 14. It houses an Intel Core i7 CPU with 16GB of RAM, 512GB of storage, 2K 14-inch display, and the latest NVIDIA MX350 graphics. It's a routine update from Huawei just for the MX350. Out of the box, there is a USB Type-C charger. Ours is a China version with a 1.6 meter cable. There is a lovely pinkish manual, as usual. One side, there is two USB Type-A port. Another side, one Type-C, one headphone jack, and an HDMI port. You are not supposed to use a single hand to open the lid. The silver this year looks better than the previous version of silver. It's not that much shiny. Everything such as the keyboard, trackpad, craftsmanship are pretty good. Not the top one, but definitely more than just affordable level. The screen is gorgeous, looks bezel-less when you do not light it on. We have already set it up and once you press the fingerprint incorporated power button, you can just go ahead. Even the screen is lighted on. The screen is almost micro bezel. The screen is a gorgeous one with very high contrast and transparency. It is not the basic lap laptop screen. This is comparable with MacBook screen. Similar to the previous model, the responsive rate on this model is definitely the top one. It is one of the fastest laptop we have ever experienced. Our next guest, all she was trying to do was catch a train in the London tube and now she is one of the hottest videos on internet. Here's why. Finish the lyrics. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? The screen quality, while well, is exactly the same as the 2019 model, so is the sound quality. It is good, but not great. It's definitely on the premium side, while well, you can enjoy it if you do not put it comparing to the MacBook for the sound quality. If you're just looking at the screen, then the screen is definitely a good one, comparable to MacBook. Let's just go through the spec sheet. It has a core i7, quad core, a thread CPU with 156 watt hour battery. Generally, you can expect light work around 5 to 7 hours, depending on how much software you're allowed on top. Sometimes you may only get 3 4 hours of usage. The motherboard is a dual channel LP DDR4. This is pretty good for daily use. The monitor is exactly the same as the previous year model. This is a very good 2K panel, high. Contrasty high brightness. The solid state drive is from West Digital Black, a very good one. The Wi Fi card is from Intel, does not support Wi Fi 6, but is generally good enough for everyday use. 
The only change is the MX350 there. Let us do some benchmark and see what has changed in the benchmarks. The Cinebench R15 score is pretty standard, same as the i5 model. That's why many people are not really interested in upgrading to R7, which is more expensive. The solid state drive benchmark is very high. The memory speed is only 30 gigabytes plus, which is on the low side. The latency is only just 90 nanoseconds. We do not understand why this laptop is so responsive, but probably it is just about the system optimization. The addition MX350 adds some frames per second on 8K CUDA. Generally, MX250 will give you 22 to 24 or 25 frames per second. The CPU is 16, which is almost a standard one. Stressing the CPU alone will definitely give you how stable the CS thing is. Let us start it. Once you start it, the frequency is 3.6 GHz and the temperature rises to around 80 Celsius degree with a power envelope 30 plus watts. This is a very good performance output. And let's see how long it can sustain. It has already dropped slightly a bit. Oh my god. After 10 minutes, the frequency is limited to 1.8 to 1.9 gigahertz with a low power envelope, just 10 watts. This was pretty similar with the previous years or the MX250 version. Do not understand why Huawei just gave 10 watts, cause the heat pipes are definitely good enough to let it run at 15, 20 or even 25 watts. Now let us do some GPU stress test. GPU stress test alone, the frequency is pretty stable. This laptop is definitely good enough to give power to the 25 watt and MX350. No any issue. When we add the CPU into the stress test, now the GPU frequency we are expecting some changes, but there is no change at all. The CPU power envelope is around 20 watts, while the GPU clock reduced significantly and is jumping between a few different frequencies. After 5 minutes of GPU and CPU's stability test, the GPU clock is basically going up and down all the time, not really stable. The CPU frequency is now stabilized around 1.8 GHz. Huawei, wow, is doing something on the MX350, but definitely not that much good. It is better if Huawei can have a stable GPU performance output so that you won't be facing some dilemmas when playing any games. While it doesn't mean that your gaming experience will be bad, because Fermark is generally a too intensive software for graphic units. Thank you for your attention. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you again.